Destiny. My sign name is Destiny. I'm the travel diva. Right now, I am planning my trip to Southeast Asia. That's including three places. It's Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam. I will be showing you the different places I will be visiting. Um, I'm just gonna show you what I bought as of like backpacks, how I'll be packing, what I'm packing. Not just me, but my boyfriend too. So it's not only gonna be for females, but also males. Many of you are probably wondering why am I signing? I'm very much involved with the deaf community and deaf culture. Um, I grew up with deaf family members. I'm actually a, te a teacher's assistant at a deaf school. Uh, and I have many deaf friends and just very socially involved with the deaf community. Really, it's my second language and I actually love sign language. And if I'm signing anything wrong, please feel free to send me an email, a blog on how to sign right and how I can improve my signing. Right now, I'm gonna be showing you the backpacks that me and my boyfriend had bought. Um, we had done some research and we're looking a lot online um, and we found out the perfect backpack for us would be the Os Free the far point. Um, we're doing a lot of research. So we actually went to different stores and the price was just too much for the backpacks. Like they were going from 100 up to like 300. Um, actually the backpack that both of us found, my boyfriend's uh, cost about 200 and mine would be about 160. So I'm gonna actually show you the backpacks right now. So this is my boyfriend's backpack. It's the Osprey Farpoint 70 liters. It comes with uh, a day bag as well. This in the store would typically cost you about $200 and that's not including the tax. As you can see, you can carry it as a duffel, as well as on your shoulders. Um, so we did a lot of research and we actually found it on an app for less than 200. We really paid about $70, 700, excuse me, $700. We paid about, I would say $70. It's exactly what we paid. Um, so I'm actually gonna, just gonna show you what it looks like inside. Day bag now. <laughs> cool, you haven't used this before. That's a day bag. That's uh, 15 liters. thing um, we did a lot of research uh, same store and my backpack is actually plus $160 it's a 40 liter bag it's the same the Osprey far point same thing double bag I can use it as a backpack as well this is easy for traveling in planes. If you want to put it under the airplane, you can, or as a carry-on, you can. My backpack, well, my backpack, I will show you exactly how it uh, looks on me. Same thing, unzipper it. 
So I said in the store it would typically uh, cost you $160. Uh, we looked on actual Craigslist and we found a woman that was willing to sell her bag. Um, we paid $80 for this one. It was only used, she told me, once. It's in good uh, condition. It's really, looks really well. Like, really good. Same thing. So I'm gonna fold it on here. And it's all packed. Um, you're supposed to have a lot of support in your hips right here, so I shouldn't feel anything on my back. Okay. I'm gonna show you the inside of the backpack now. Really, it looks like it can pack a lot. It's actually extends. So you have the inside. Um, so this is something I need to get used to. It's a smaller bag. Um, most of my family are really like concerned. They're like, you're gonna be backpacking? Yeah, okay. Because I'm so used to bringing a lot of clothes, a lot of makeup. Um, I don't travel without makeup. And for this trip, I'll be traveling with no makeup, so we'll see. <laughs> Alright, I will be showing you what I'm actually bringing on this trip. It's, it looks like a lot, but it's, it's really not. We're traveling for three weeks, that's 25 days. It's not really enough clo uh, clothes, but we'll manage. Okay, so I did a lot of research on what to bring for uh, backpacking. Um, that's actually including my uh, packing cubes. This I found on Amazon and it's about between like, let's say 10, about $30. I believe I paid about $11 before. It's just to help organize your backpack and just to really, you can put shirts in here, just to separate your things. So, I'm bringing three shorts here. These are two more shorts, okay? These are for pajamas or actually swimming, so I can use them for anything. So, ultimately it's like five shorts, but it's not that bad. Three for an everyday use. This for sleeping, for swimming, or for the daytime. So that's three shorts, two extra shorts uh, for pajamas. Here. Um, over here, I have about six shirts. Extra two shirts. This is for sleeping, again. Sleeping, sleeping. So I'm actually bringing a uh, one sarong.
that can be used for going to the temple because really you're not supposed to be wearing tank tops. You have to actually cover up. Um, I can use it for the temples, um, the beach. You can wrap it around me as a, a skirt or a dress or just as a, a towel for the beach. Just put it on the floor. I'm bringing one uh, universal skirt skirt or it can be a, uh, a dress. I'm bringing two socks, not that I need it, but if I feel a little cold on the airplane or the buses, I can put them on. Two bathing suits for swimming. My Three week traveling, I'm bringing underwear. How many? About six to seven. It's up to you. Um, I'm bringing six. They always have laundry there, so I'll be fine. I'm bringing three um, sports bras. Because really, if you're a woman, you know you're sweating and wearing a, a bra. Not good. Actually, like, you feel a little rub on it and it really hurts. So, sports bras it is. Bring one flip flop. That's for the beach, the showers, because I am staying in hostels. So you need to bring flip flops for the shower. Um, again, for the beach, showers, going to the temples, you can take, it's easier to take off the flip flops. Also, I'm bringing one um, sandal. That's for my everyday walking. It's gonna be a lot of walking. It's the Tevas. They're really comfortable, especially when you're walking a lot and I have a back problem, so it should be helpful. My research, it told me to bring a towel. Now, burglar burglar towel is a little too big to roll up and put it inside the backpack. Um, I found a, I spell it wrong, micro, fiber towel it's here you can find it on Amazon for about I think I paid like $10 it's pretty big and it actually it absorbs the water and it actually dries really fast so we'll be okay I can use it for showers or when I go to the beach uh, swimming the pool I'm a little OCD and I like to be like I like to be organized and plan ahead. I bring a little bit too much of things. I just I like to be prepared. So I'm bringing all these items for my body, healthcare. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna be washing my hair because I'm gonna be washing it a lot. So it's gonna be hot outside. Oh, hot outside. Um, the shampoo, I would be bringing a lot, too much. So I was doing some research and they told me that shampoo bars would be good and it actually will last longer. That's. It's supposed to last a long time, but we'll see. It's a little too small. Padlock. This is number one. Since we're staying in hostels, we're gonna leave our backpacks, but where? Lockers. We have to lock it. That was number one on the list for me. And an adapter. It's pretty cool. That's America. And I think. Australia and it says Thailand so I mean I'm not sure if we'll need it but we'll see this one is used for you're up
for the UK. Here you plug it in. Plug in your own things. So far, these are my things that I'm bringing. It looks like a lot, but it's not. I'm limiting myself, and that's not very typical, but it's very limited. Remember, it's a three week traveling, so that's it. And I will be washing my clothes. Hopefully, this, of course, there's laundry there. So I will be washing, so don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's concerned. See? I have a little bit of mistakes. It's okay. Come a little closer